of us, a new year brings a clean slate, a time to change bad habits or try something new. But did you know a study revealed 88% of those who set New Year's resolutions fail? But we have some tips so that your goals are realistic and you make progress coming into this new year. So joining me today, I'm so excited, it's friend of the show and licensed professional counselor, we have Dr. Shana D. Lewis. It's always great to have yes, you on. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about why is it that we fail at our resolutions? There's a lot of reasons, but some of them, we make them too big mm -hmm. and they are huge. You want to lose 100 pounds in yeah. 90 days. Not happening. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. You don't track them. You know, we don't have a real system to walk through them. And so by January 17th, everybody's ditched them. It's ditch day, actually. So really? whatever you resolve by January 17th, you forgot about it, you ditched it, and you're on to the next. So what can we do to kind of keep us on track? I mean, do you even like to use the term New Year's resolution? What do you? I really don't. You do? I say no resolutions, Maggie. I say we need a revolution. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yes, it's a mind shift that has to happen first. Okay, so guide us. Tell me a little bit about how I can do this. So I have some. So think about it like this. A revolution is where you actually shift why you want the thing to be different. Okay, mm. so let's even use weight because you talked about that earlier. Baby weight, I'm telling you, and I'm self con It's like, yeah, it's something with me. There's a thing. You're not the only mom in the world. Yeah. Right? My kids are 17 and 14, but I get it. Um, and I still got a little bit of baby weight myself, but it's okay. So, but the why though, why right. do you want to lose the baby weight? So if we ch attach the why to something deeper, we're more likely to succeed. So if I want to lose weight so I'm healthier, that I have more stamina, I'm able to run and play more yeah. with my kids, it extends my life, my longevity, then it has a root that allows me to actually attach to, not just the weight, but the why. I love that. So for me too, it's just about making me feel better yes. about myself yes. and more comfortable yes. in my own skin. Yes. I love that. What do you think is the biggest mistake people make when it is a new year? Because I mean, we think of it as a new slate, but we're yeah. human. We are human. One of the things many of us do is we make too many of them. So there's 10 things that I want right. to get done. I'm going to say them all on January 1 and by the 17th, we forgot about them, right? Right. So. The idea here is not to make too many, make a few, but make them not as resolutions, as revolutions, okay. right? Okay. Um, and then create a plan for how you walk them through. If we do that, we're more successful. So two or three is probably better than 10. You're not gonna get all 10 done in 90 days. It's not happening. And you see a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the revolutions people are most likely seeking? L listen. Health is a great one, yeah. right? Because you got physical stuff. Everybody wants a different body. Um, financial is a great place that many of us want to start. Um, we also can have relationship goals, right? Everybody right. wants to be booed up or paired yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Valentine's Day is coming <laughs> very soon. And we want to be in a relationship. So those are extremely common ones. Buy houses, you know, things like that. Most of us say we want that. Um, but, you know, for me, it's there is a step-by-step -step process. So we can talk about what that looks like. But right. it's not a resolution. It's a revolution. I like that, and I like that mindset, and it seems more achievable. Yes. And it doesn't give me anxiety. Yes. Because that's one thing I was thinking of my resolutions and all that I want to do, because I like a new year. Yes. Because I like a new slate. Yes. And get excited, but I like this better. Yes. It doesn't put that pressure. Exactly, exactly. Because the anxiety, and then you never end up doing it. And then you feel like a failure. Yes. And then you feel bad, and then you don't want to do anymore. Exactly. This is why we give up. So what other advice do you have for us going into this year? So I would say, so everybody pen and paper, write down. New Year's, okay, on your paper. We're in school, right? Okay. So the N is just no resolutions. We're doing a revolution. Okay. Period, point blank. We're going to change our mindset and connect to the why we want the thing we say we want. Okay. And then there's the E, right? So after you decide there's no res resolutions or revolution, you're going to do the E. The E is going to be evaluate what you actually really need. Make sure it's what you want, Maggie. Are, am I doing the 10 pounds for me or for somebody else? Right. That's a good point. I mean, if it's not for you, you're not going to stick to it because it right. ain't about you. It's about somebody else. Oh, my goodness. Well, we could talk even more Forever. about this. Where can we go just to find out more about you? I know you break this all down for us, I too. do. So if folks want the full list of tips because there's a whole New yeah. Year set of tips, then you can go to New Year, New You, 2024.com, and the whole list will be there. Dr. Like I said, I could always talk to you forever. I look forward to having more of you on the show yes. in 2024.